Hello, my beautiful and lovely friends. It's Leah Lava again, uh, and I am here for a second video today. I'm really practicing a new style of approaching the life of doing videos because I oftentimes tend to think about doing this exhaustively long video on a particular topic and either it doesn't get done or I do it, but then I don't have time to actually go through the editing. So I thought I would just come on as I'm thinking about it, as I have a moment, just throw these ideas out there and then move on with my day. Again, I'm Leah Love and I'd like to welcome you to my channel if you are new. I like to discuss areas of the heart and the home. I'm recently remarried and just got back from honeymoon and I love discussing topics of um, being a stay-at-home wife, marriage, love and relationships, friendships, homeschooling, blended families, interior decor, recipes, and more. So it's a little bit of a hodgepodge, but I really just like to speak from my heart and um, kind of extend the videos that I do on my Facebook page. And today I really wanted to talk about um, an aspect of visualization that I used for many years and what helped me to um, achieve the goals that I had, particularly those goals over the past couple of years. I am currently in the midst of doing an online dating course, um, which is a live video course um, with, um, that's being put on Facebook in a private Facebook group for those who are just getting their feet wet back out into the world, the dating scene world, or some have never yet dated, but definitely want advice on how to navigate um, the online scene because it can be a bit overwhelming, it can be a lot. And if you don't really have your mindset um, in a space and in a place that allows you to advocate for that which you desire, and while avoiding a lot of the roadblocks and the traumas that happen with online dating, um, you can really enjoy the experience. I personally enjoyed the experience. And after nailing down a technique um, that really worked for me, I began uh, consulting with my clients on that. And so I offer a plethora of private coaching services, which includes writing an absolutely phenomenal bio, which really speaks to the heart of what you really want, as well as choosing the right dating profile photos, um, and then how to navigate the conversations. Because by the time that I got into um, the groove of things and had really practiced it um, and perfected it over a couple of years where I was on and off of dating sites, um, I finally got into a place where I tried um, the last site that I had not yet tried. And um, on the third day is when I met my now husband. And um, in less than a year, we were married. And so it's been a wonderful process. And I love sharing that with um, my clients as well as those who are currently taking my course. And I can link information about the course below if you're interested in that. But one of the questions that I get asked a lot about is how did I do what I do in terms of being able to manifest the things that I want in my life? One of the things that I wanted to manifest was um, finding a healthy relationship um, with an emotionally available and stable man from a marriage culture and from a just a background of good values and someone who truly matched my own values and life goals. And so that was one goal. Another goal of mine was to embark upon um, the stay-at-home wife life. I was already working from home um, when I met Eric, and I was also homeschooling my children and doing a lot. So I'd already been able to manifest that part of not having to work outside the home, but I wanted to definitely close that chapter of my life in terms of having to work a day job. I do have my own side business, which I was doing while I was still working, and I still carry that on. So I do have income, but I'm just not having to be an employee of others at this point. And Eric agreed to that, but those were very firm um, non-negotiables that I had already outlined when I started the dating, um, you know, lifestyle, so to speak. And I call it a lifestyle because when you really um, are dating with purpose, you're dating with a, a very serious goals in mind, it does become a lifestyle. It has to be incorporated into your daily life. Um, your thinking, the way in which you present yourself, 
the things that you spend your time, energy, and money on, all of those um, are very key and critical components of uh, making yourself a well-rounded person and being able to engage the dating process seriously as if you were looking for a job. Um, and so again, that's for those who are dating for a purpose, which is the purpose is of marriage. Now, if you're, you know, just want companionship or just someone, a couple of dates here and there, that's totally cool. Um, that's just wasn't the um, purpose that I was dating for. And that's not what I'm coaching on. And I'm often asked in my coaching um, courses, you know, how did you do what you do? What are some of the techniques that you utilize? And one of the techniques that I utilize is visualization. And I was thinking about it and I was also um, going through some of my inspired self-education that I like to do every morning. I like to, um, you know, listen to an inspiring YouTube video as I'm making the family breakfast, etc. And I was listening to one video this morning on the purpose of visualization and it really dawned on me that though I did not call it that, which I'm about to explain, that's actually what I was doing, but I was doing it more intuitively. So yes, I knew the word, um, you know, visualization, but the way in which I approached visualization was a bit different. And so that's what this video um, described. And so I thought, you know what, um, people are asking me quite often, how did you do what you do and what were you doing and what were the steps? Um, to just attain um, a more fulfilling life um, after going through much growth and self-healing, etc. And what I was doing was visualizing, but I would visualize with purpose and mindfulness, but I would also visualize with the idea that I was using it to root out the contrast or to root out blockages that I had um, within myself. And these are blockages that were keeping me from reaching my ultimate goals. And so what that really means is that when we talk about visualizing, we are using our creative imagination. We are fantasizing. We are daydreaming. And what you do is you think about your desired outcome. You see yourself living that desired outcome. And there are many ways to do it. Some people see themselves outside of themselves. In other words, it's almost like watching someone drive down the street in your favorite desired car that you'd like to buy, as an example. And so rather than seeing someone else driving that car past you on the street, you visualize yourself watching yourself drive the car. So you are outside of yourself. Um, you are visualizing um, the end goal outside of yourself. The other way is visualizing the end goal from the perspective of yourself. And so what that means is that rather than seeing yourself driving past you on the street, you get into your body and you get fully into the experience of visualizing yourself experiencing it from within your body. So you are looking at the street passing by you. You're looking down at the steering wheel of your favorite car. You're looking at the material inside the car, the colors. You're looking at the seats. You are seeing it all from the position of being within your body, living out that end goal. Um, so it's a difference from a perspective of and a perspective from. And so when you move into the perspective from the person living that, you are better able to embody that, the emotions of it. What does it smell like? What does it look like? What does it feel like? What sounds are you hearing? You are engaging all of your senses as you are actually living it out rather than watching yourself living it out from the outside. And so as I was doing that though, one thing that was really, really critically um, important for me in practicing daily visualization of my goals is that I was taking note of any contrast that I was experiencing. I was taking note of negative ideas, negative feelings, um, negative sensations that were coming up in me as I was attempting to place myself in the position of already having what I desired. And when I began to notice that 
as the example of the car, for instance, um, I would begin to see myself, feel myself driving the car. I would begin to see the interior of the car, but then thoughts would come up in me that would kind of creep up out of my, you know, internal voice that says, you know, but that's going to be kind of super expensive and, you, you know, it's probably going to take a while or, you know, I just wasn't at comfort. I wasn't feeling at ease with myself going through that experience. And rather than stuffing those thoughts away or blocking them and, you know, just saying, ignoring them, trying your best to ignore them, what I would do is actually take note of them. And then when I was done with the visualization, I would write out those thoughts, these, these um, negative emotions or energies that were coming up in me. And I would spend time thinking about that. So I noticed that, you know, Leah, you said blah, blah, blah about, you know, you're having this experience of the car or, you know, you're reaching your desired goal. And I noticed you had a hard time even visualizing yourself at a thinner weight, uh, a thinner weight with a thinner waist or a lower weight. Um, whatever blockages, whatever um, pushback that I received on whatever visualization I was working my way through, I would take note of that. I wouldn't beat myself up. I wouldn't judge myself for it, but I would simply just take note and realize that that was something that I needed to walk through continuously. So I would continue at it. I wouldn't stop myself. I wouldn't embarrass myself or feel bad about that, about the negative energy or the negative emotions coming up as I was trying to get myself into that space. But I would simply massage it, walk through it more, continue on in the path of that visualization until I noticed a decrease, until I became more at ease more comfortable feeling myself driving a particular car or seeing myself at a particular weight. I would then go into affirmations that I am thin. I believe in myself and my ability to reach this desired goal. This desired goal is easy for me to attain. Um, I love the way I look in these clothes as I am cinching my belt a little tighter and as the weight is dropping off, I realized how capable I have always been at um, releasing weight. I realized how capable I am of achieving these body goals. I feel so great as I am um, enjoying the exercising and the walking and uh, intaking more water. And I'm loving um, going through my closet and removing the clothes that no longer serve me because they no longer fit my body. Um, I notice how easily I drop this weight, how easily I lose the pounds, or as we say, release the pounds, how good I feel inside my body. And I'm just so amazed and grateful and thankful that my body um, became aligned with my ideal um, image of myself, that my body and my soul and my spirit and my mentality um, became so quickly aligned that my body was able to follow suit and I'm able to drop this weight. I'm able to see myself at an even um, lower weight that is um, beautiful and healthy for me. And I'm able to experience um, joy when I take photos and I see myself looking back at myself lovingly. I begin to, I began to constantly visualize myself um, at the smaller size and realizing and thinking to myself as I'm visualizing myself, seeing myself in the mirror, I'm standing in a full length mirror and I'm looking at myself and I'm realizing how easy it was once I accepted and believed in the idea that I could actually reduce size, that I could reduce my waist um, you know, size, that how easy it was once I accepted that it is possible, once I took on the belief system that made it possible for me. And that's in that moment that I realized that though I was previously visualizing losing the weight, I was visualizing releasing it, being smaller, but my belief system, my deepest inner belief system had not shifted. 
um, to match that which I was trying to visualize and not doing very successfully. And so I was reaching a lot of blockages in my weight loss program. I would only go to a certain level and it just seems like I couldn't get any lower no matter what I did, no matter what changes to my nutrition, to my um, you know exercise routines, um, switching things up trying different nutrition programs, upping different vitamins and supplements. It just felt like I could not get past that level. And I literally stayed at a certain level for like a month. And then I just finally gave up. I got angry at myself, angry at my body. Um, and I was completely frustrated. But I realized that months later when I decided to get back to it and I was preparing for the wedding and for the honeymoon and I just really wanted to see if I could surpass that um, in some way or other. And I noticed that as I did that, I had already remembered the importance of not only seeing things from the perspective of already having it and visualizing from within your body and seeing the world outside you from the perspective of a person who's already attained that, not only that, but also working through my inner belief systems and my blockages that were coming up. And rather than ignoring them, I was actually bringing them up to light and inspecting them and turning them over and flipping them upside down and really just getting um, a good understanding of my belief system and my thoughts about that. And I literally practiced it with myself and said, you know what, I'm going to work my way through these blockages, through these negative emotions. And I'm just going to say, hey, I'm just going to go for it. Why not? Just I'm going to release these thoughts. Yes, I can get this waist down beyond um, the measurement that I just couldn't get past before. Yes, I'm going to see myself as thinner and thinner. I'm going to believe that I can get there, that I can be wearing the clothes and the size that I want to wear. I'm simply going to believe in myself that it's possible. I've done other things that I previously thought were impossible. I can definitely do this. I'm just going to take the chance and I'm just going to believe. And I continued to say that to myself repetitively. I would um, recite certain affirmations and then spend daily um, time uh, with my visualization exercises and just seeing myself as that and smiling at the negative emotions that come up and say, it's okay, we're working through it, let's keep going. And sure enough, I was able to begin dropping um, the pounds, the waist was getting smaller through various techniques. And, um, you know, I was reaching my goals and with less effort than I was doing before when I was reaching the blockages. And so, again, I proved to myself the power of our minds and the power of our ability to transform ourselves. But we first have to transform our belief systems, the, the way in which we think about ourselves, the things that we hold deep within that we don't like to admit to a lot of times or that we have become so accustomed to ignoring. Um, those are those key aspects of ourselves that we actually have to look at, stare at in the mirror and accept and love their ways out of our existence. And so that's what I wanted to share about visualization. And it's not only you utilizing the visualization as a tool for experiencing that which you want to bring into your life, but it's also a tool for bringing to light your blockages to the things that you want in your life. So I hope this was helpful. Again, this is Leah Love. You can find me on Instagram with Leah Love Online. There's also our family vlog, which is S Family Vlog. Um, and then there is also LeahLoveOnline.com. And so thank you so much. And if you want more information about my online dating course, um, please do feel free to inbox me on Facebook or make a comment below and I will definitely reach out to you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.